Okay, hey guys, um, I'm doing something a little different than what I normally upload today, which I, I normally do speed paints, and obviously this isn't a speed paint. Uh, a lot of people are interested in my designs and my design process. I know I uploaded one that I did of one of the Atlas Deer Southern quite a while back. Uh, so I had an idea for doing kind of a live commentary on my thought process throughout doing the design. And what I'm going to do today is another cat in the series that I'm doing right now. Um, so I have this guy named Ed, who I did uh, first, as well as uh, this guy, who I'm still working on a little bit. Uh, but it's basically going to fit in this series of characters. Uh, as you see, I'm focusing more on the shape of these guys than the actual colors and markings, like not as complicated as I might normally do for fursuit related stuff. Uh, so my idea for this guy is a munchkin cat. Um, so I pulled a few references pictures that I liked. Um, I like the color combos and the shapes in this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just start off with a few basic shapes. Uh, I can see that the heads are pretty um, round, kind of flat, like that. And they're actually pretty long bodies. And the whole point of this character, I want it to be kind of cute and not pointed and sharp like this one is. Like he's all triangles and diamonds. So something just very round. Like just kind of maybe like a bean shape for the body here. And that's going to be a little big, so let's make it smaller. Just kind of the arms coming out this way. Their little feet are super cute. So I just want to have that ex kind of extend from the body, uh, very flowing. I'll probably speed some of this up so you might not even hear this, but just shorter than you might think it would be. Go ahead and get the floor. What I found very helpful in doing uh, these kinds of designs is that start with the kind of basic shapes that I'm familiar with, and then exaggerate upon those. So you can see how I drew the normal uh, the first arm kind of uh, what I would normally do. Now I'm just kind of exaggerating these features. Makes for a more interesting design in the long run, in my opinion. If I make his, I think it'd be really cute to give him a little little paws. So just very very small. All right. So as for the head shapes now, let's see what I want to do with that. Let's just block out his muzzle. Like I said, do what seems cool. I really like how in this second picture here, the cat's ears are kind of pointing, not exactly upwards, but to the side. Uh, so I think that would be cool. So we follow these references here. this one a little bit but I think that looks pretty cool and just uh, use that same reference line to mark out where the eyes are gonna be like a small nose would be really cute just a small mouth in general so that most of his face is just occupied by this cheek fluff Maybe also a small neck. It's nice big eyes to make him look pretty cute. So we're gonna give him those 
cat eyed shape pupils, but not as thin as, say, uh, this one. Block out his eyebrows, give him a happy expression. bit of hair on the top of his head. Color in his nose. So it's looking pretty cute, I think. Shiver his tail, I really like the way this this first picture, the tail is very big, almost kind of like a squirrel's tail. So what I'm going to do is kind of start some back here. Kind of bigger at the end. Just nice and round. And going with that theme of round, I'm actually going to round up the tops of his ears. And his cheeks. That just gives him a more just like soft appearance. Which these cats are so cute. It's hard not to make them look that way. And I'm gonna see if I can eat drastic or make this even more drastic down here. There's legs are. It's actually doing something. Okay, so we got a pretty good basic sketch for what this character is going to look like. Uh, as you can see, that didn't take too long. Uh, probably going to change a few more things by the time we're done with it. But yeah, I strongly suggest if you're looking to make a new character first get some reference pictures there's no harm in that and then identify what you like about those pictures um, that could translate into a cool design that's a lot of what I do um, to make successful designs and that needs to be cleaned up that's fine Alright, so let's move on to colors then. Cause that's a big part of design. Uh, so, like I said, this character is soft and round. So I'm gonna choose soft, warm colors. Uh, I really like, I like the colors in the first picture. So something maybe, um, hang on. Let me get out my color. Where is it? Okay. It's like this soft cream brown color. Along with maybe this. And a slightly lighter color as well. Almost white. Yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna just do some rough coloring here. There's no point in doing anything precise when I'm still working on the design. But we'll go ahead and just fill this in real quick. I think a lot of people try and, or they make the mistake of trying to make it perfect the first time they're working on the design. And I'm just, you know, leave room for error. Uh, a lot of times, if you go through my process of designing something, especially with colors, the thing I do first doesn't even look like the final project. Like, I change it so much along the way into something I really like. So just give yourself room for error when doing this stuff. Alright, I want to do something simple for this, because 
the whole idea behind these guys is that they would be like animated cartoons. Uh, and you know, when you're designing cartoon characters, you don't want to make them too complicated to draw. So let's see. Do with this cream color up here. Like this. Around the face. Give him some stuff over his eyes, make the eyes stand out more. I think the ears would be cute this color. As for eye color, I think I want to do something teal because that's you know something light, kind of fun, playful, and it also looks really nice with this brown color. I'm actually gonna do a different color for the whites of the eyes make them stand out more like that looks pretty cute I think just cover his mouth yeah I think purple would also look kind of good for the eyes uh, I'll have to think about that like I said you know just try things out put things on the canvas that you think would look good Um, actually, I think I'm going to continue this down like this, and then have it go along the back of the tail. And uh, kind of like how this one is, to the tail. I like that a lot. Go ahead and make the paws white. I think that will do it for this one. Like I said, nothing too complicated. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. Um, not sure if I like that color. Maybe something more orange. Yeah, I like that better. So there you have it. Um, pretty fast amount of time. Very simple, nice looking character. Now, if we were going to do this like I normally design my fursuit and other type of furry adoptables, um, I can do something like that as well with it. I would want to do something more complicated because if I'm going to sell an adoptable, I want it to be something that nobody else could really make. So what I might do in that case, have this come around. You know, if, you, if you like complicated designs and you want to make one, that's completely fine. I'm just playing around with possible options here. We have it come around like this. Have some of the marble shapes that come in. That second reference. Something like this, maybe. You know, the possibilities are really endless with this kind of thing. So as you can see, this is maybe something more akin to what I normally post. Just a little extra flair on there that gives the character a little more of a pop. Uh, but not necessary. These are all, those are both valid designs, for sure. So there you have it, pretty much how to design a character in 15 minutes or less. Um, definitely try branching out a little more, uh, like the ones I showed you. These are all made up of different shapes. Uh, I wanted this guy to be, you know, compact. If you want a character that's kind of a troublemaker or um, kind of more along this line, 
go with angular shapes, maybe a tall, skinny build. More grumpy character like this, um, larger, more rounded shapes, wider, stuff like that. Um, don't be afraid to play around with shapes. I definitely think that the line art, the actual outline of the character, is the most important part of the character. Um, once you get that down, doing the actual design and colors will just come a lot faster for you. Well, I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, at least just a little bit, let me know. I'm definitely down to do more of this stuff in the future. Or um, if it wasn't helpful, let me know why and I'll try and explain my process a little better along the way. Um, just thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching my videos.